giant asteroid just skimmed past our Earth and we barely noticed this in time. Again, we may not be finding them out in time. There are asteroids we never see and perhaps the next big one we will not see until it's too late. Now this is on Science Alert, Michael J. Brown from The Conversation. A 100 meter wide or 328 feet wide asteroid passed just 70,000 kilometers from Earth today, Australian time. It was discovered by the Brazilian Sonear survey just days ago, and its presence was announced mere hours before it zoomed past our planet. The lack of warning shows just how quickly potential dangerous asteroids, potentially dangerous asteroids near Earth objects can sneak up on us. We remember that we had an asteroid strike drill the end of April, the beginning of May. And uh, it was uh, supposedly to hit the south of the United States and they mitigated it by supposedly, it was a desktop drill, you remember. And uh, they supposedly hit it with a nuke, but it was cut into pieces and the portion of that asteroid supposedly hit New York City so it turned out to be a disaster in their tabletop drill. And uh, this goes on every two years. Next year, the next time it'll be in uh, 2021, I think in Switzerland. And uh, they've done this a few times up to now and none of the desktop drills was a success in mitigating the asteroid. So this was um, something that we were lucky did not hit us. The asteroid, this one that passed us, reassuringly was designated 2019-OK, okay, is not a threat to Earth right now, but the 2019-OK okay and other near-Earth asteroids do pose a genuine risk. Now we know that uh, NASA has a near-Earth asteroid tracking system, but it does not mean that it tracks everything. It tries to get the ones that are bigger than 300 feet across, and uh, this one was not caught. Now, the Tunguska explosion of 1908 and the Chelyabinsk meteor strike of 2013 were equivalent to large nuclear explosions, and under the wrong circumstances, a meteor impact could devastate a city. And now they're searching for danger, of course. Astronomers are well aware of the risks posed by asteroids hitting Earth. Meteor craters can be found all over the Earth, and some relatively fresh examples include Wolf Creek in northern Australia and the uh, imaginatively named Meteor Crater in Arizona. We were also recently hit a couple of months ago. Thank goodness it didn't strike a city. It struck in the northern Pacific Ocean off the Aleutian Islands. It was an unpopulated area. Even if it had a tsunami, it would not have been big. And we were lucky. And they didn't see that one coming in, by the way. Now, a huge asteroid impact 65 million years ago near Chicxulub in the Yucatan Peninsula in modern-day Mexico initiated the extinction of the dinosaurs. Consequently, astronomers across the globe have devoted considerable effort and deter to determine the level of threat posed by near-Earth asteroids and to identify individual asteroids that could pose a significant threat. Asteroid surveys include PAN-STARRS, ATLAS, SONIAR, which spotted this 2019 OK asteroid, and the Catalina Sky Survey. Asteroids are typically so far from Earth that they resemble stars rather than the craggy rocks that they are, but because asteroids travel around the solar system, they move relative to the distant stars. Thus, astronomers can discover asteroids by taking sequences of images and looking for objects that move from image to image. Using this approach to survey large swaths of sky, astronomers have discovered thousands of near-Earth asteroids, including more than 2,000 during 2017 alone. And yet, some asteroids still manage to sneak up on us. So why is that? Astronomers are good at discovering asteroids that are visible at night, but less good at spotting asteroids during the daytime. 
Asteroids also are fainter the farther they get from Earth. At closer approaches and with dark skies, 2019 OK would have been visible with a pair of binoculars as point of light drifting slowly across the sky. But three days before that, it was 1,000 times fainter and thus harder to spot. And what's more, for the past month, it's been relatively close to the sun in the sky, so it's been, uh, it has only been visible around twilight. 2019 OK asteroid was finally tracked by the Sonar survey on Wednesday, and soon after that, it was independently detected by ASASN telescope network. Both of these surveys use relatively small telescopes with sensitive cameras to search large areas of the sky, rather than just large telescopes to study small patches of the sky. Close calls before its discovery as a near-Earth asteroid 2019 OK was imaged by other telescopes, but its significance was not recognized. But these earlier images did help astronomers nail down the asteroid's orbit. 2019 OK has a very elliptical orbit, taking it from the asteroid belt beyond Mars to within the orbits of both Earth and Venus. As each orbit takes 2.7 years, it is not always going to be pass, to pass as close to Earth as it did this time, it will make close approaches in the future, but hopefully not quite this close. Other near-Earth asteroids are also on track to make close approaches to our planet. The 400-meter-wide Apophis will pass roughly 30,000 kilometers from Earth on Friday, April 13, 2029, which will only come as bad news if you're particularly superstitious. That's in 10 years from now, less than 10 years. Both 2019 OK and Apophis are far larger than the Chelyabinsk meteor, which was just 20 meters across. The risk of them hitting Earth may be small, but they would be devastating if they did hit Earth. Avoiding Armageddon. If we find an asteroid on an actual collision course with Earth, is there anything we can do about this? With just a day or week's notice, we would be in real trouble, but with more notice, there are options. We are already sending spacecraft to near-Earth asteroids with NASA's Osiris-Rex currently visiting the asteroid, or actually the small planet of Bennu, and Japan's Hayabusa-2 currently visiting another asteroid, Ryugu. But these are missions of discovery rather than destruction. Indeed, destroying a near-Earth asteroid may be counterproductive, potentially creating multiple destructive asteroids, as, for example, what happened with the asteroid drill that we had at the end of April. They supposedly struck the asteroid incoming with some kind of an explosion, explosive device, and a piece of that asteroid cut off and it uh, came flying into New York City. That was, of course, the tabletop as, uh, uh, asteroid strike drill. So how can we stop an asteroid catastrophe, an Earth impact? The solution may be to give dangerous asteroids a gentle nudge rather than a vicious kick. If an asteroid's velocity can be changed by just one kilometer per hour over years, that adds up to thousands of kilometers difference in position. Given that the pale blue dot of our Earth is just 12,750 kilometers across, a small nudge to a, a big rock may be enough to avoid Earth impact and therefore annihilation. This is by Michael J.I. Brown, Associate Professor in Astronomy, Monash University. Article was first published from Conversation, which is under Creative Commons license. And this is on Science Alert. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.